Dear Lord, the battle we go through life. Dear Lord, the battle we go through life. We ask for a chance is fair. We ask for a chance is fair. We should win. We should win. Let it be by the code. Let it be by the code. Faith and honor hell high. Faith and honor hell high. We should lose. We should lose. Stand by the road. Stand by the road. Cheers, the winners go by. Cheers, the winners go by. Day by day. Day by day. We get better and better. We get better and better. We can't be beat. We can't be beat. We can't be beat. Chicago's number one news. An update now on the Chargers youth football team. Last week, they were not certain that they would be able to raise the money that they need to go to New Orleans for a tournament. But thanks to some generous donors, they made it. They're doing quite well. They sent us this video from their games. The 11 and 12-year-olds placed fourth in the country. Same for the 13 and 14-year-olds. And we are waiting to hear the results from the other two age groups. But both are competing to be third in the nation. Way to go. go, go, go. You know, me growing up in the inner city of Chicago, I grew up around gun violence and drug dealing and, and all type of crazy things. I played football as a, as a youngin, and uh, me and my friends played football. And one of my cousins had also played, but he drifted away from football and ended up in the street. And for my cousin getting killed, I was devastated. You know, I, I we tried our best, you know, to keep keep his head right. So, like if he would have stayed involved in football and really use the skill, you know, to get out the hood or to even just do something better with his time. He would be still living today with me. My life before joining the Chicago Chargers, I would hang around kids that did drugs, were affiliated to gangs, and other criminal activities. I was suspended for school, up in the house, bored in the living room, watching just channel surfing. My brother came in, counting money. When later I found out he was selling drugs, then I figured since he was making his money that way, it wasn't no age limit to it. So I figured this was how I was supposed to be making my money. So I followed his footsteps. I also started selling drugs. Back then I was in the entrepreneurship program, and uh, she, my teacher, Miss Sandra Glenn and Miss Armstrong, saw my writing skills, and they saw the talent in me. So they like, Mike, what you love? And I told them, well, I love football. I love football and music. And then they were like, football, mm. Okay, so Michael, uh, how about you start a football program? At the age of 14, here yeah, I am with my first grant. Uh, by my teacher's, teachers helping me get the grant. You know, it was a $25 grant. You know, we played our kids. We did what we had to do. Initially, we were planning t-shirts and tackle football with no equipment. Now, at this time, I'm 14 years old, coaching 11 and 12 year olds. I got involved with Chicago Chargers, but Coach Mike, he came to my school recruiting people, and the Chicago Chargers was already big in Chicago because they went down to Florida two years in a row. They won state championships, and the program is big. It's really big. Uh, a couple of years later, you know, the program grew. We went from 20 kids to 50 kids, and we grew. I played high school ball. I was like a, they called me a player coach. My high school coaches called me player coach. You know, I didn't devote my entire time fully to high school ball. They stress to keep your keep your head in the classroom. Uh, it's, you're a student athlete, which means student come first, athlete second. The grades before I joined the Chicago Chargers, it was like C's and D's and stuff. And now I got B's and A's. Going to school, being on time, doing my very best, listening to my teacher. And it's more than that, just having a good day. Every boy on this team loves the sport of football. And they want to play. And if we, if we can't get a good grade, we can't play. You know, I was a, I went All-American my junior and senior year. Play and end up getting a scholarship all from my senior year to play ball at Edward Waters University in, in Jacksonville, Florida. I turned down a scholarship because I felt like helping the youth was more important than just me. I was like, well, maybe I can help seven kids get scholarships versus just me. When I was with the Vikings, I was just born out of the plan. Then I went to the Chargers and started playing. And then Coach Mike said if I wanted to play and other players wanted to play, we got to cut off the extra life that we was doing. Running around the neighborhood, gang banging, and everything. So he made us change our lifestyle. Personally, 
he made me take leadership for a other of the team. And then he showed me how to control my anger and unleash it to football. And as and all the things he taught me, the fundamentals of football and how to control myself and leadership skills. I took it to high school. My freshman year, he told me I need to get bigger and so I can go to college. And it's funny to think about college football, but he put that in my head and told me I could play college football. So I worked, to play, I worked hard to play college football, and now I play in college football at Knox College, a sophomore, and my position is a receiver. Coach spends a lot of time with us. We joke, laugh together. We like brothers. I had a better bond with the Chicago Chargers than any other team I had with. After all the hard work, after you know the past couple of years, several successful seasons, uh, going to national, making the national championships, ranking fifth for the nation, the fourth for the nation, the third in the nation, three years back to back. Here we are again. You know we saving kids on a lot of sacrifices, but yet we really don't have the parent support that we will need and we will like. Most of our parents are single moms, and uh, most of these kids live with their grandparents. You know, our kids worked hard. They deserve it. And we just need someone to step in and pretty much help us out with these young men who are making a difference in their community and who are proving that they can be proud, productive individuals and be not just what society tells them to be, but to be better than what society tells them to be and to be something, do something in life and to be the best man they can be. Two C's up, that's a touchdown. Run up, get knocked down. You think we some jokes, boy? Now we ain't no jokes, boy. Boom. We thunder, boy. We thunder, boy. We thunder, boy. We go hard, we thunder, boy. We thunder, boy. We thunder, boy. We thunder, boy. We go hard, we thunder, boy. On the field with us, you better pray. Shot town, we here to stay. Chicago Chargers, we about that. We want to go just all day. We work hard, we play hard. On the field, we all stars. So Chicago Chargers, we go hard. We ain't worried about the other squad. Bang, bang. We thunder, boy. 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 We go hard, we thunder.